Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So in this video, it's a compilation of my farming results over the last two weeks. Now if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. I also do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me this way. So we start off the video with a nice little chat script surprise, uh, and this is obviously in Antiquity Garolia Dungeon. I will say that um, for everyone who's here at the end game, where you've probably collected uh, all the bones, for example, in Antiquity, or the um, junk in um, present day, keep in mind, you should really be selecting um, all the uh, dungeon paths that are not to collect more of those. Because remember, the ones you choose that are um, not of the collecting variety do yield four uh, treasure chests, two of which can have a chance script. So um, that might help you increase um, you know, your chance of chance scripts slightly at least. So um, I have found that I have gotten the majority of my chance scripts in the last little while from doing Antiquity and Present Day Garelia. And of course, uh, now that there's so many ASs out there, although I would say that uh, it's a nice pleasant surprise to see any treaties at any time at the end of results, um, you know, I wouldn't say they're as rare as when they first started where AS uh, Suzette was the first and only AS at the time. And I remember people were clamoring over, oh, you know, when am I going to get AS Suzette? When am I going to get this and that? I will say though, um, I think she came out about a year and a bit ago. I think she came out last July, the very first time for her banner. and. Um, I only still have farmed four of her treatises. Now I can buy one in the store, but you know, that being said, hey, over a year and still don't have five. So for the what's that worth? I mean, you know, uh, RNG is going to RNG. And you can see in another uh, round of going to the, uh, uh, I guess the Dogu uh, Cavern, here's another little chance group, which is perfect. Now, for myself, I do skip all the horrors in these areas only because uh, the crystal of whatever it is, either support, life, or attack, seem to drop fairly frequently from the uh, dungeon chest when you're going through the four chests. But you can let me know in the comments below if you've ever run into not having enough crystals as opposed to not having enough fragments, where I find that fragments and of course the jade is associated with them are the barrier to upgrading some of your best tier 2 and tier 3 Grasta. I mean, um, at the end of the day, I think that um, we're not going to be using tier 1s, we're just burning them for a few extra fragments. And now that we can get a lot of gold lumps, you can even choose to upgrade your tier 2s and then burn them away for an additional uh, few tr uh, fragments if you so choose. But now that they've actually updated the game where um, the treasure chests do yield anywhere from what 15 to 50 say uh, fragments it makes things a lot easier in that way and don't forget in the uh, PCD there is a rare room where you can talk to those cat deromas those uh, statues and um, get some fragments that way and hopefully more attack fragments and less life ones so you can see this is my third chance script uh, dropped in the space uh, ship graveyard in this case again in antiquity Gearly. Now most of the time I am still running Antiquity Garelia only because I really do want to farm uh, the Shadow of uh, Garelia all the way up to as much as possible being that hey he can carry the Shadow and he is a valuable member of our team even in OG with manifest form of course where he can wipe everyone with his AoE or as a zone setter and the AS form so very very useful in having one guy or girl um, you know be your light or shadow battery we all have um, straw boy at the end stage or we have some pretty cool people we farmed all the way up to 100 plus that can help us but in terms of shadow I think so far I still find Garyu the most useful shadow battery even over someone like Gilna who can do the one hit calamity kill um, for many of the end game bosses which I actually really do like I like the fact that we can have a chance to die but still all in and win all the time all right so um, here we go, another rare area, and if you're wondering why I'm still in Xeno Domain, um, I had a video out a few, I want to say about a week ago, talking about planning out your farming for the next foreseeable future. And uh, let's see if we get, nice, nice, another chance script, that's perfect. Um, yeah, we can always use more chance scripts. Remember, I've said this a few times before, but um, for those who are just joining us, each chance script is essentially one fifth of a five star, provided you have any sort of four and a half. And if you're like most people, you'll have multiple four and a halves which you haven't upgraded to a five, or some four stars um, that you could side grade uh, to a AS version as well. Like for myself, still haven't upgraded or side graded uh, Nika, um, Runa, 
Akane, so on and so forth. So uh, most of you have those in the four star form and of course these chants can be used towards that if you don't absolutely need them for other things as well. Anyways, as I was saying, when you're farming here in Xeno Domain, part of the reason why I'm doing that is that uh, with the uh, looking forward to some of the banners that are dropping and some of the tomes associated with them in order to either farm their VC Grasta with 10 tomes or even the one tome to unlock their 4.5 to 5, um, none of the newer tomes are going to be dropping in Xeno Domain, whereas some of them will be dropping, for example, in Riftbreaker and uh, Miglins, so on and so forth. So make sure you catch my video if you're wondering how to plan your farming uh, moving forward uh, when those banners drop. Uh, just to clarify, when those banners drop, it's only when the time that you should go farm those uh, tomes, being that they're not available uh, through um, the game until such time that the banner is updated to that newest update. But in this case, I am still farming Inspector Tome, which of course is for uh, Renry, and for uh, Ancient Tome, which is for my beloved Seti uh, with Manifest. So those are both very useful. And keep in mind that later on, uh, Renry OG, once he gets, she gets Manifest Weapon, will be uh, quite lethal in terms of the non-elemental, um, uh, sorry, non-type physical damage. Uh, she'll be very useful in Slash Zone for that reason as well. Now in terms of farming uh, Light for Rika, Probably not the most useful, however, hey, free light is free light, and you never know if any of our story characters do get an upgrade, which I don't think is going to happen in the near future, it hasn't happened in Japan yet, but hey, you never know, and we're all still waiting for Fane to become a 5 star. Now, as you can see from my selection of treatises, uh, most of them weren't of the most amazing variety, a lot of them I already have, and in this case, for example, still don't have Femina in any form, not like she's going to be as useful in the AS form versus the OG form. Now in this example though, I will say this was a welcome drop for me. My first Titania Treatise, and although I do not have uh, Vena in any form yet, hey, you never know if she comes along as uh, you know a surprise in your off banner pull. So I'm always welcoming the ones that you know for sure are going to be useful, and again, I will say that even if you do pull her later on, hey, one closer to having a VC Grasta, and since she's so powerful already, you know you're going to be using her um, to, uh, you know, enhance uh, your wind team. And this is actually my fifth blank Manure Treatise. It's really unfortunate. I do remember that uh, I've been using OG Leclerc for so long when it first came up being that, you know, I know things have been power crept and she's not as awesome now, even with Manifest, but in the beginning, she was awesome with her aiming flood, her triple hit, uh, Dragon Hand, so on and so forth. And when she first came out with her AS form, I was actually quite excited. Um, but I think now she's probably not um, as useful on a water DPS team. Hey, maybe if they come out with a Manifest weapon for her, she becomes amazing again. And this one is one I'm really, really excited about. Cybele or Cybele Treaties. Uh, AS Myers, from what all the videos I've seen, um, and obviously my son has one as well, she looks OP. And I have the OG form, which is great with Manifest Mind. She's a perfect healer. She's got the AOE. She's got physical uh, resistance uh, buffing for yourself, shielding, uh, physical resistance, uh, um, I guess, uh, other things as well. However, no one can argue against the raw power of an uh, Earth Mage that can VC in multi-hits and boost everyone else and toast everyone. And finally, another Tentamere Treaties, perfect for AS Nagi. I do have her already, of course, but more uh, treatises can finally unlock her true VC Grasta, and I think I'm still quite a ways away. I mean, who has the ability to get 15 of any one treatise since there's 20 plus different ASs out there? But hey, that being said, I did farm my first, I think, five, so I have one VC Grasta for her at least. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.